Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to explain you how to use ChatGPT API and I'm also going to show you how I've built this website which is using ChatGPT API to create the jokes in a style of the famous people. So let me show you how it works. So let's put the, some famous name, for example, Bill Gates and let's create a joke which is in his style. So let's wait a bit and here we are. We have a joke which kind of created by Bill Gates, but it was fully created by ChatGPT. And I'll put the link in the description below so you will be able to test it by yourself. Also in this video, I'm going to show you both official and unofficial APIs. In official API, as of now, we can access only Da Vinci model, while in unofficial, we'll be able to access the latest ChatGPT model. And let's start from the unofficial chat GPT API. To do that, we will use this GitHub repository, which made by Terry3041. They made a module which called PyChatGPT. And I'll put the link in the description so you can check by yourself. So as it stated uh, here in the readme file, it's unofficial Python wrapper for OpenAI chat GPT API. So based on what I saw inside of this wrapper, they're using Selenium and they're using Chromium to emulate the same kind of chat GPT window. So they're basically opening separate instance of Chromium and interacting with uh, chat GPT through the same interface, like what we are doing as a humans and providing it back through the API interface. So let's start to see how it will work in our example. First of all, what I can see, we need to install the module PyChatGPT. chat GPT. Let's copy that and let's go to the visual studio. Let's create a new file, main.py, and uh, let's create a separate environment and install the module there. Python 3 minus M, VNV, ENV. Okay, we now have environment. Let's activate it. ENV slash bean slash activate. Done. So we are in. And let's install PyChat GPT module. Okay, now it's in downloading and installing. Done. Now let's go back to the instructions and scroll down. We'll find the module. Let's copy that, go back to the Visual Studio, paste it here, and let me explain what's inside of this module. Basically, there are multiple options of creating API objects. First one is using your session token of your existing chat window with chat GPT. And I'll show you how to find it in a second. And there are multiple other options how to create this API object, as you can see. Uh, one of them is using your OpenAI login and password. You can also use some capture recognition services, but it's for more sophisticated examples. We will use just a simple session token ID identification. So we can easily comment all the rest. Let's comment that. And let me show you how to find this authentication session token in your browser. To do that, we need to go to our Chrome browser and going to the, our existing chat with ChatGPT. And we're going to the inspect. Then we're going to applications. Here on the left side, we need to find cookies and chatopenai.com. Here we need to find next auth session token. Just select that and you can find the entire token ID. Just need to copy entire text here, Control S, going back to Visual Studio, removing this, copy paste and save. That's it. Now let's clear everything here, clear. And now let's change the question which we're asking from ChatGPT to something more interesting. Now it's just like a boring hello world. Let's put something like, uh, Give me a joke. Okay. Control S saved. And now let's run it. Just press play and let's see what will happen. As you can see, the new Chrome window is getting created automatically and the question getting sent to the chat GPT and we're getting response. And this response should be now sent back to our program. Let's wait. You see the window get closed automatically and we're getting the joke. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. It's quite funny, I think. 
but it's not really convenient that those new Chrome windows getting created and we can fix that. If we'll go back to the instructions and scroll down, we'll find this section showing how to run it on the headless Linux server. We need to deploy additionally two modules, which is Chromium and XVFS, and then everything will be running inside of the process, it means there will be no new Chrome windows created. And let's check the remaining part of the code. If we want to change the prompt we're asking from the chat GPT, we can change it here. Those three lines are responsible for managing the window. They are opening, closing and clearing the cache. So overall, this unofficial chat GPT API is quite interesting and can be used for testing purpose. But I would not recommend to build anything serious based on that. First of all, because we never know about the response time. Sometimes system is overloaded and we are not getting response at all. Secondly, this access could be depreciated anytime in the future because it could be blocked by OpenAI. Instead of that, I would recommend you to use official API, which I, by the way, use to build this website. And let me show you how to access that. First of all, we're going to openai.com. We need to register here, and I'm quite sure that you already registered here. Then we're going to API. Then we're going to the examples. And now scroll down to the section which called chat. Here we are and press it. And here we have example how to use official API. As we can see here, we have multiple options. We have Python, Node.js, curl and JSON, but we need Python. So let's copy that. Let's go back to our Visual Studio and let's remove all the old files because we don't need them anymore. Let's remove them. And also let's deactivate the previous virtual environment. Deactivate and let's create a new virtual environment, Python 3 minus m vnv env underscore two this time right so yes activate that and let's activate the virtual environment dot env underscore two being activate okay activate it now let's create a new python file main.py and let's copy paste everything here now we can see that we need to have open ai library so let's install it let's type PIP install OpenAI and let's wait a bit. It's installing and done. Now, as we can see, we need to have OpenAI API key and let me show you how to do that. So we're going to the openai.com, then we're pressing API and here we need to sign up or login, depends whatever you have a login already or not. So if you will log in, then you will find yourself here in a beta.openai.com. So now where we need to go is to go into the, uh, your profile, then going to the view API keys. And here you have a button, create new secret key. Let's press it and wait a bit. And here we are, we have API key generated for us. Let's copy that. And let's go back to our Visual Studio and let's remove everything here and paste our API key. Now let's change the code to build something more interesting, right? So first of all, let's change the prompt and remove the, this text and let's put the same example like we used in unofficial API. Give me a joke, okay? And let's also put the print of the response. So just copy and paste. Here we are. So let me explain the code now. We don't need OS anymore. So we are importing OpenAI library here and then we're creating connection to OpenAI via uh, API key, which just generated. And then we're building the response based on prompt. So we are giving the, we're giving the prompt, give me a joke. And we also specifying to use the Vinci model. And we also can use the temperature parameter, which is giving the creativity level of the AI. So if we want to have like the highest level creativity, we can put 0 0.9. If we need to have just a straight response, we need, we can put zero, but we're making a joke. So we need the creativity. Okay. And then now we're printing the response. So let's try that and let's wait and let's see what we'll get. Okay, we are getting JSON response and let's see, do we have a joke? Yes, we have a joke in a text field, which is saying about like what, what one ocean says to another, nothing, they just wave. Yeah, that's that's funny, I guess. And and yeah, but we, need, we don't need the entire JSON response. So let's specify that we need the text field. Let's use uh, choices and we need the zero and let's put the text, right? So. Okay, now we have a new joke. 
what did the fish say when they hit the wall damn yeah so it works and let me now create the entire website using this api so i'm going to use flask as a python framework and i'm going to use aws for free hosting so let's start first of all we need to install flask beep install flask and done it's installed now let me write the code for entire website okay code is ready and let me explain what i've done first of all i have extended main.py i've added flask to serve the incoming requests so here's the first module i've added also the get jokes and write jokes and managing the jokes takes the file which is empty right now and i've created index.html for our front end it's using bootstrap css and also having a form which is sending the request to the back end and i also moved the, our OpenAI API key is a separate file, then it will be much easier to manage. So it could be just changed just here and that will be updated everywhere. So if you're interested to get the source code, I've put everything in one package on my Gumroad account so you can download that. I'm sure it will be very useful for those who wanna build his own product based on OpenAI API. So please check it, I'll put the link in the description. Now let's go back to our Visual Studio and let's run our website on the local host. So for that, we just need to press play here. And as we can see, the Flask is starting its own web service and running our website on the local host. Let's just test it. And uh, we can see it's working on the local host. So it's serving the, our request. So let's make some jokes from the Bill Gates, for example, right? And let's wait a bit. And we're getting a joke. How did Bill Gates fix his computer crash? He gave it a Windows update. Hmm, interesting. Okay, that's that's kind of the joke was generated by ChatGPT, and that's how the website working on the local host. But if you want to have your website available for other people to let them also create the jokes, then you need to use external hosting. I'm going to use AWS FreeTire as my hosting provider. So let me create um, an account and deploy the website. Okay, everything's done. So I've created AWS FreeTire account. I've created a FreeTire instance and configured the security group and firewall. So I created required ports and I've deployed Unicorn and Nginx. And now let's test our website. Let's copy our public IP address and go to the new tab page, paste it. And here we are. That's our live website, which is available online for everyone. So you guys and girls are very welcome. I'll put the link in the description. So it's a live website and you can create your chat GPT jokes, right? So let's test it and let's use, um, um, let's our, our friend Elon Musk. And let's create joke about Elon Musk. How did Elon Musk prove the law of gravity? He tried to launch it in Tesla, but it only went down. Uh, <laughs> but it's but it's funny. I think uh, it's about uh, stock prices probably, but but it's funny. Okay, that's how it works, and that's our live website. And we're using AWS free tire instances to host our website. It means it's absolutely free for us. That's why I decided to help you guys and created very detailed instruction what I've done. So step by step, it's more than 20 pages and it's include everything from creating an account, how to configure the operational system, how to create access key, how to configure the firewall, how to deploy your website, which we just created with the, with the jokes, right? And you can use your own application based on that, how to deploy that and how to create web server out of that. So how to use a Gunicorn, how to install it together with Nginx. So I've put all of that together in one, in one document. And in the end of the document, I'll put my contact details. So if you'll face any issues with the instructions or have any questions, so feel free to contact me and I'll try to help you as much as I can. And I will include this instruction into my Gumroad package so you will get source code for the chat gpt jokes website and this instruction how to deploy it on aws free tire step-by-step instruction and that's all what i plan to share with you boys and girls 
So if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. And please try to build your own website based on ChatGPT API. And please share the link to your website in the comment section below. I'll be very happy to see that. But as of now, thank you very much that you watched this video. Enjoy your day and see you very soon in the next video. Bye.